starting this lesson, I just want to let you know that this lesson is coming from this book. And this is Microsoft's number one selling Excel book. And they asked Dr. Winston to write it. And the reason I'm telling you this isn't to buy the book. The content's free. Like we're, we're posting YouTube videos, right? It's more to let you know that you're getting a, a world-class education if you just watch the content. If the video's there, just watch the whole thing. And if you have any questions, just let us know. We're more than happy to help. The only requirement, if I answer the question what Dr. Winston does, is that we can make the video so more people can, um, can watch it, right? So we can have the solution for you guys and girls, and then we can post it to where other people can find it valuable. And again, uh, underneath in the description, there are going to be the start files and the ending files, meaning you can download them. No email, you, you don't need anything. Just click on the link, you'll automatically download the files and you can follow along and you can um, have the formulas in your spreadsheet or in um, Dr. Wilson's spreadsheet. And then we do offer a free 21 day course. Again, the link is in the description or you can go to um, excelwithwayne.com slash uh, free. And so yeah, but uh, again, if you do like this video, if you could comment and if you could like it and subscribe. And the reason for this is not just to be notified because you will every time we post a video and we're trying to post, I don't know, we're trying to do three a week, but I'm gonna start making content as well and we should hopefully be able to do one a day. And, um, and so yeah, but also the bigger benefit is that if you think the content is valuable, then by liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel, um, more people will see it. The algorithm of YouTube will push the, the video to more people. And so we just want to make sure that we can reach as many people as we want. It's free. It's YouTube, right? So like the content is there. And so we hope you find it valuable. And again, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment and um, I'll be monitoring it. And I'm more than happy to help, more than happy to answer. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have Office 365, then by now or certainly by, let's say, the end of the first quarter of 2017, if you go to the Data tab, you'll see something really new and exciting. You'll see new data types, stocks and geography. And we're going to illustrate in the next few videos how you can use these amazing new data types. Basically, if you type in a geographic location, you can write formulas to extract data from the Internet about your geographic location. Use those in your spreadsheet. And with stocks, the same thing. Type in a ticker or a symbol or a company name, and you can extract much information about companies. So let's get started and show you how this works. So let's type in some U.S. cities. You can do international locations also. Charlotte, North Carolina, I go there a lot. Houston, Indianapolis, maybe Los Angeles, Chicago, and Seattle. Okay, so I select these cities, control C or whatever, and then I go data, I can go to geography and make these locations. So Excel puts in these neat little cards which will send you to Wikipedia if you're connected to the internet and show you what you can use in formulas. And this plus sign here shows you the type of fields you can insert. So let's try and do this here. Let's get the population of these cities. So I would go, sorry, I have to go equals, point to that, population, drag it down. I now have the population of each of these cities. Suppose I want the state and the county. So for state, now you'll see in a later video, we make things in Excel table, then things just copy down automatically, which is so cool. So administrative division one is a state for the U.S. I didn't point to this. There we go. North Carolina. And the county is Administrative Division 2. Mecklenburg County for Charlotte. Houston is Harris County. Seattle is Kings County, I think. King County, Cook County, etc. Okay, so I think that's enough for now. And in the next video, we'll show you how to use these geographic types with Excel tables. 
All right, so now that you watched the video, you know, we hope you like this stuff. I mean, we're going to be posting a lot of content, hopefully. Um, the goal is to do two to three of Dr. Winston's videos a week, and then three to four um, or five. You know, the goal is one a day, so seven of me producing uh, content or me answering questions, you know, from people and stuff like that. I mean, you, you guys probably don't know me and girls. Uh, but I'm an alumni of Dr. Winston's. I am a consultant in Excel. I, you know, I do this stuff for a living. And so, yeah, if you have any questions on this or in general, leave a comment, like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Uh, not, not so much just so you get a update, but more because, you know, if you think this video is good or you like the content and you think other people will like the content as you like and as you comment and as you subscribe, uh, YouTube, the algorithm is going to push this to other people. It's going to it's going to be on their homepage, you know, people searches and stuff like that. And so, our goal is to get this content out, you know, to as many people as possible. I mean, it's free, um, but it's really really good. Um, I am an alumni again of Dr. Winston's, and I can personally, you know, vouch for it uh, because I, I I was in his classes. I took all of his classes. I took his marketing analytics. I took it, uh, his data modeling class, his stats class, his financial anal analytics class. Like I've done it all. And it's just amazing content. And the challenge with YouTube is there's not in-depth content as to where with this you have really, really in-depth content. And so yeah, any questions, let me know. Leave a comment and I'll be there to help. Thanks.